So we're at Harlow, Church Langley Tesco's to be precise. We have a customer driving down with a 2016 Land Rover. He couldn't find anyone in his area to make a key for him. We're gonna program him a new key using the Exhaust Key Tool Plus and an XM38 Smart Key. If you wanna know how to do this job, step by step using the tool, head over to autoacademy.co.uk and we'll show you everything you need to know in regards to key programming, setting up your own business and how to operate as an auto locksmith. We're gonna prepare this key now using the Qtool Plus. The customer will be here in a few minutes. Once he's here, we're gonna program it in. Once the customer gets here, it's gonna take literally two minutes to program it. When you open these keys, you are gonna to need to stick a battery inside to generate the key. So if we just open up the circuit board like so, and then we can stick in our CR32 battery. If we can get it open. Once the key's prepared and the battery is in, we can now slot that into our device. And now we're gonna prepare the key. Let's go all remotes. We are doing a 433 Land Rover. So let's generate that after a few minutes. All of the information will be on there and then we'll be able to program it in. So the key is fully generated now and it's ready to be programmed to the vehicle. They come with a little emergency key bay in the side. So when the customer gets here, providing his key is cut, I will cut this for him. If it's not cut, then I won't cut it because then I'll have to pick and decode the lock, which would then be more money. And is the customer going to pay more money? Probably not. If you want to learn a little bit more into depth, you know what to do. When the customer gets here, we'll jump in and we'll code it and then we'll take payment. Sick customer has arrived. The wagon has arrived. The wagon has arrived. Hey, Bart, how's it going? Are you okay? Yeah, okay. Tyler, nice to meet you, bro. Okay, bro. So, so, this is the current key. Okay, okay. sound. You're going to make a new one completely. That's correct, yeah, this yeah. is the brand new one we're going to make. Going to program it. You need this one, right? Yeah, you can leave that on there if you want, or you can take this up entirely up to you. Do you know if there's a little blade cut as well behind the key? Uh, yeah, there is. I tried it today. It oh, cool, okay, and it does work, nice. Yeah, sound, yeah. perfect, mate, thank you. So I'm going to program the key to the vehicle and yeah, then I'll cut that blade after, all right? But that key, the key you're going to make will pro work properly because that one doesn't work properly if you look, you look at it. Okay, was well, it just not locked sometimes now? No, it's just funny. Okay, know. all right. Yeah, well, generally, once we program a new key, okay. Okay. providing this key's faulty, this will work absolutely fine, yeah? Okay. I'm going to need to jump in that side, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Put the back. Yeah, I right, appreciate it. Thank you, mate. We're going to go 15 to 18, match with OBD, start programming. Okay, now put the original key in here. Now we put our new key in. Click OK. The key made success. Okay, now this should be programmed to the vehicle. So we're going to take the original key out and we'll test this new key. Beautiful. So make sure it starts. Is there a ghost in there or anything? Yeah. Okay, okay. all right, cool. Right, she starts. Cool beans, okay. So behind these little silver strips, there is a little emergency key blade. Right, we'll quickly duplicate this. Beautiful. Sick. Right, that's done. What one's the old one? What one's the new one? Huh. <laughs> right, that's the old one. <laughs> Got confused for a sec. There we go, boys. Look at that. Proper job. All done and all coded. And I've got that key done by someone else. Yeah. So okay. And then it just, it worked like, like on the day. Yeah. And then straight away it just hmm. started playing up. It was, it was Interesting. Cool. Let's have a look at the inside. But there's a new one. If you want to give that a oh, test, I've cut the blade and I've put it in the side as well, mate. Hmm. It works sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I wonder if the battery's a bit naff. Let's stick a new one in there for him, shall we? Oh. Oh, that was me, sorry. I've just put a new battery in your other key. It's just to see if I could get that working again. So originally the customer wanted two keys, but changed his mind this morning and just said he wanted the one. So that's fair enough. So his original key seems to be working for now, but how long for? That's all good, yeah? If I put this, on the, on the new key, will that mess it up? It's all right. No, do you want it to have Range Rover on there though? Yeah. Uh, let's have a I'm look. Really let me see if I've got one. I've got, yeah, I've got one. I saw that over here. Perfect. Yeah, I'll be honest. I normally get the, like, the plain ones because I deal with a lot of Land Rovers as well and oh, people yeah, don't yeah, want Range yeah, Rover yeah, on their yeah, Land Rover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like trying the yeah, middle ground it. Yeah. Beautiful. Dynamic. 
There you go, mate. Sure, Thank you. Right, Look at that, proper. Stuff, yeah, nice and quick. I like that, man. Yeah, man. How much is it for, for the one gear? It's three twenty. Cool. Man. Do you know how much Range Rover charge? Yeah. Did man. you bring them? Yeah, I did. I Hi, mate. You got any money? Yeah. What? Yes, I've got money. Give it to me then. So yeah, I rung them just, yeah, just for yeah. out of curiosity and they need to replace the KVM yeah. um, and it was like 1,200 pounds or something so like that. Man. Yes, sir, we're all done. Do you see how quick that took? If you're interested to learn more, hit the link in the bio.